And even YouTube, you should all the rage George Page come to you live, live on YouTube. Well, tonight they had the Invicta 42, you know, and the headline card was for the vacant um, 105 title. And it was uh, Alicia Halfpat Zapatella versus Ashley Smashley Cummings. Now, as you know, uh, Cummings fought for the title a while back, but it was vacated because uh, Jen Frey came overweight and she lost to Jen Frey. And um, Alicia's been on a two fight winning streak. You know, she lost. Uh, the last fight she lost against Viri Ferreri, and then she went over to, to Verizon and she lost the fight over there. But um, we're a big fan. I'm a big fan of um, Alicia. We follow her. I follow her on you know, on social media, especially she has a YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, was it was it that long ago? I when I did a video when she announced that she was going to be fighting for the title, and this is a good thing for her. She's coming wrong and she's still young. You know, and the thing is, I don't think they're going to pick her because you know. Uh, UFC doesn't have an atom weight division, and she's and she's too small for straw. So you know she's probably she'll be sitting there for a while until somebody creates atom weight division, and she might move up. You know, and you know, and she won this fight um, by a uh, fourth round um, submission with a move called the Von Flu choke. You know, which is kind of a side choke in a way. And, you know, she's very happy. I mean, you know, she's young and she's happy. I mean, she came a long way, you know. And, you know, having that one loss on her on her record and then, you know, and now coming back and um, you know, she was eight and two, you know. So and coming back and now becoming a, a champion. Also, uh, the co cool main event was the return of the battle angel, uh, Lisa uh Vin Zoon or oh, sorry, it, was it, I haven't seen it. Zone Rosen, for Zone Rosen, have it said on. I won't see what. Anyway, and also against um Rachel the Rock, uh, Canito. Uh, I can't say any properties, but you know, if I remember, Lisa was that you know, she fought against um Ju or Julia Sodrenko, um, at the uh Victor um Phoenix series uh last year, and they had that bloodbath. I mean, they were cut up and bloody. That was the bloodiest fight ever seen in women's MMA. So, this was a you know, just a three round co-main event and uh you know and more likely it's uh probably a future title shot for the vacant um bantamweight challenge you know studio um went up to uh Invic to uh, ufc because of you know she left the, she had to vacate the title and you know she last she last she fought was she, she fought um yana kuskaya so this is possibly a future you know bantamweight fight for um lisa you know and you know Possibly who's gonna be her opponent? We don't know. You know, as we know, we talked about before that uh, with um, Tanisha had going to the uh, um, the the, the contender series that kind of I think they kind of screwed her out of opportunities to fight for the title because you know she won the uh, last Phoenix series when she won three fights in one night and she should automatically be a contendership for the title. But I don't know if they're gonna give her a shot yet or, or just we just gotta wait and see. But so but mostly I'll say I want to say congratulations to um, half pint, you know, and it's, it's some long time coming and, you know, I, we'll wait and see how it goes. I think if she do leave, um, Invicta, it'd probably be one champion because they, they were probably the only ones that really have a good, um, atom weight division, you know, because UFC doesn't have one, Bellator doesn't have one and, you know, it's no point going to any other organization. So congratulations, half pint. You should be on the radio page, like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.